Where? Oh! Oh my god! How'd she get- Ah! Oh, fuck! How'd she- Jesus Christ! What is up guys, Disco Dracula here, and today we are playing a game called Martha. So this was developed by Affordable Cat. Um, I do want to let you guys know that I was given a key to play this game for the channel, but you guys can get it off of Steam for $3.99, which is pretty cheap. Alright, new game, let's do it. March 1st, 1996. I find myself driving down a long dark road just west of the Anadir Mountains. I haven't heard from my close friend and colleague Jack Myers in weeks. Jack is a journalist for the Wind Windermere Metro Times who was hellbent on writing a feature article on the supposed curse of the Albrecht estate. Albert and Martha Albrecht, um, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, I'm not really sure. A married couple who were both reclusive academics mysteriously vanished and the house lay abandoned since the late 1960s. Due to its remote location and stigmatized history, the house was purchased from the state trustee by the Burkhart family in June of 1994. The Burkhart's occupation was perhaps short-lived as nobody has heard from the family in nearly two years. The Anadir police claim to have the situation under investigation, but there is something that seems amiss in all of this, sparking Jack's interest in the bizarre case and what locals have referred to as the Albrecht Curse. Jack left two weeks ago for Anadir to begin investigating the story. My last call from Jack was just over one week ago. He rang from a payphone in Anadir town and said he was having trouble finding the house as it is seemingly in the middle of nowhere. I'm not going to wait around for another lackluster investigation by local law enforcement. I'm going to find out for myself. All right. Play at night or in a dark room and use headphones. Well, we are using headphones. Um, I'm actually playing during the day for once, which is weird. I usually play at nighttime, but um, I'm also using the mouse and keyboard. It does have controller support, but I just didn't feel like hooking up my controller. I can't believe my car cut out like that. That might be the old Albrecht house. Okay, I didn't get to read all that, damn it. Anyways. So we do start the game with a flashlight. That's good. Uh, what? Which way was the house? I'm going. Oh, here it is. There's a phone ringing. What? Yeah, why is this cop car here like that? And why did this door just randomly open? That's not sketchy or anything. Yo. What? Yeah, that's not creepy or anything. Who are these random people? Is that Albert? This house, the lights are all on but so dim like the power is drained. We got a note here. Dan's to-do list. Unpack boxes that seem to be put everywhere. Is Emily just trying to fill space? Remove creepy old pictures off walls. Who'd put that kind of shit on the walls? I was thinking the same thing, Dan. Get locksmith out to change locks and get into attic. Fix fence so that Winston does not get out. Buy rat poison for rats in the attic. Book Emily in to see a doctor re the incident. Book Emily in to see a doctor. I don't know what that's supposed to say. Start writing a novel. Start writing novel and stop drinking beer in front of the TV. But drinking beer in front of the TV is fun. Research Martha Albrecht's achievements in science and survival experience. And perhaps most importantly, buy more beer. Dan, you one of those hipster fucks that drink nothing but like IPAs?
I'm a scumbag and I drink Natty Light, so... I guess I have no room to talk. We got some more weird pictures. I still don't know where the phone is. Oh, here it is, but first we got another note. Hey kids, as you know, your mother hasn't been quite herself lately. She is sleeping upstairs, so please don't make too much noise. I have had to head into town to see if I can get her an appointment. Take Winston for a walk. That dog has been going crazy lately. Also, stop moving things around. I spent all yesterday morning looking for the TV remote. Remember, if you head outside, lock up and take your key. I've had all the locks changed again after what happened the other night. The key for the back door will also open some of the cabinets. We'll explain which key to use where when I get home later. Love, Dad. All right, so we need to keep that in mind. The key for the back door also opens up uh, cabinets in the house. Okay. Let's go ahead and open it, or let's, let's go ahead and answer the phone. Okay, or not. We don't have to answer it. That's fine. Those people were only waiting like fucking 30 minutes for me to make my way over here. <laughs> And then as soon as I get over here, oh, sorry, phone shut, shut down, my bad. All right, another note here. Anadir Police Department, June 12th, 1994. Mr. Daniel and Emily Burkhart, break and enter at the Albrecht Estate. This document is to inform you of the result of the investigation into the break and enter incident at your home. At this point in time, we will not be pursuing farther charges against the intruder, as we believe that the individual involved is possibly a mentally unstable individual, and we will be referring the case to the local psychiatric care facility for their records. To recap, we understand that the incident, as you described, it occurred as follows. During the night, you encountered an aggressive intruder. The perpetrator was a disheveled elderly woman and somehow overpowered both yourself and your wife. I like how they put somehow, like, <laughs> uh, snarky fucking police officers. You managed to flee to retrieve your firearm. You shot the intruder with two rounds and she bled profusely and vanished without a trace. Damn. Dan's not fucking around. We understand that your wife has been traumatized by the event. However, an extensive search of the local area did not yield any evidence of an intruder being in the vicinity of your home. Consequently, we are unable to continue our investigation unless farther evidence of this person arises. Please feel free to discuss this farther at the police station in Anadir. Sincerely, Detective Ramsey Fletcher. All right, uh, I do want to pick up that key, but at the same time, is it going to spawn her in when I do? Ooh, that kind of startled me a little bit. Craig's Latch and Bolt Locksmith. June 10th, 1994. Hey Dan, I've done as you requested and changed the majority of locks for you. There are a few of the older locks that have proved difficult. I am not completely in agreement that you should have a system like yours as it seems overly confusing, but I am not one to judge you're the boss. Anyway, in regards to the attic, I could not get that door open either. The lock is older than my granny and I didn't want to wreck your door, so I will have to come back with some different tools to give it another try. Call me when you want me to come back out. Craig Murphy, Craig's Latch and Bolt Locksmith. All right, Craig. You sound like a shitty locksmith, buddy. Ooh, look at this save screen. This is cool as shit. Um, thank you for playing, Martha. You can save your progress here. Press C or close button to exit. Cool, let's save. Your progress has been saved. Awesome. That's really cool. Um, I really like that save mechanic. At first, I thought it was like a little mini game or something. Sorry, guys. I just want to, like, fully... Ex what is opening? All right, yeah. I want to fully explore the house before we grab that key. Hmm? Did you say something? Yeah, I didn't think so. You and your receding hairline just stay over there, okay? <laughs> Alright, so we still- What? Where did the front door go? Oh shit, you're right! The front door is just totally gone! And this weird fucking painting is now in place of it. Uh, great. So here's the thing. Can we just jump through the fucking window? Also, can I pick this fucking hammer up? No. All right, I guess let's go grab the key. 
Get out, it says. Okay. Picked up a house key. Alright, uh... Who fucking knows... What this goes to. Okay, so... Based on the fact that it opened this cabinet, I'm assuming this is the back door key, maybe. That it was talking about in the note. Alright, I got a first aid kit. Alright, cool. Alright. So... Where were some of the other cabinets? Like this one. Okay, I don't have the right key for that. Maybe that key that I picked up wasn't that backdoor key or whatever. Okay, I don't have the right key. I do have the key for this, though. A second house key. Great. Okay, we can unlock this now, too. You're next. So, at this point, I think I would just fucking dive through the window. I mean, I will gladly take a couple cuts and shit rather than uh, deal with this. All I can do now is leave whoever follows this note and hope for the best. There is something in this house. It is relentless. It will follow you. You can't kill it. You can't hide. I thought I killed it, but it keeps coming back, stalking me. Hit and run. Hit and run. It can't stay long, but will always return. Whatever you do, do not let it get close. Jack. Alright, so... Martha is invincible. We can only slow her down. Good to know. I need a key for this old trunk. What's that? Close the door so I can get back here. Can I pick that up? It looks like matches. I can't get to it though. Alright, let's uh, get this note. June 22nd, 1994. Can't believe it has come down to this. I swear it's after me now and the kids. The car is missing. The camper van won't run, but we will need to spend the night in there. I'm frantically packing what I can. It's too late for Emily. She is gone from us. I have boarded up the room and trapped her in there. Oh, shit. I need to find a phone, call the authorities, and burn this miserable place to the ground. We spend one night in the RV, then try to make it to Windermere on foot. Not going back to Anadir, not ever. Something is not right with that town. Dan Burkhart. Dude. You want to call the fucking, uh, the thing in the house relentless? You just fucking locked your wife up in a room and left her here. Huh? April 15th, 1968. Oh, okay, so this isn't from, uh, Dan. This is from Albert. Against my better judgment, Martha has insisted that we move out here. We have bought this massive house out here on the outskirts of Anadir, right near where the crash was. My thoughts lean towards Martha dealing with what had happened and the guilt she feels for colleagues, living so closely to where everything happened. My commute to Windermere University is much longer. However, Martha has completely abandoned her post as physics professor. This leaves me worried to leave her so isolated and alone with her thoughts each day. Her mind, I fear, has changed. She seems to have changed. Perhaps we will change for the better, but at the moment it feels much worse here in this house. We truly feel the emptiness of our own lives. Albert. Alright, Albert. So Albert seems like a good dude. Alright. Okay, so we can unlock this. What? There's nothing in here, even. Give me the spoon. I'm gonna fucking jab Martha with the spoon. Did that just change? Why is that changing for her? That's fucking weird. Alright. So when we first walked in, he's like, all the lights are on. Every fucking light switch I've seen has been turned off.
All right, we're just gonna shut the door. Okay. Watch her pop out of here. What is that? Picked up some handgun bullets. Oh, fuck yeah. But uh, I don't have a handgun, though, do I? No, I don't have a handgun. You picked up a scrap of paper that looks like part of a code. All right. Nine. All right. We'll keep that in mind. Um, where do I get this handgun from, I wonder? I would love to find a handgun. Okay, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think we have uh, pretty much explored the whole entire uh, bottom floor. For what we can so far, anyways. So I guess let's go ahead and go upstairs. Alright. Don't have the key. Well, this looks ominous. Is that Martha? Physical astral projection. A powerful mind can cast themselves at short range to walk as an entity outside the physical body. In some cases, this apparition can even interact with the physical world. When the apparition is subjected to physical trauma, the conscious, uh, the conscious being will return to the physical body. So that is what Martha is doing from what we've read so far. She's going to be using astral projection, it sounds like, to come at us. Don't have the key. Don't have the key. Oh, fuck. I saw the mannequin and thought it was somebody standing there. There's another key here before I pick it up. You need something to light this with. Oh, really? Okay, I guess I can't open that trunk. Um, can I crouch down to get this, though? Anadir General Clinic, June 15th, 1994. Dear Mrs. Emily Burkhart, I am sending you this referral letter to a psychiatric physician. The episodes you have been having after the recent intruder incident you're in your home appear to reflect a type of post-traumatic stress caused by the home invasion you experienced some weeks ago. This is something that I am not equipped to handle as general physician. The symptoms you describe, including sleepwalking and feeling generally out of control of yourself, would suggest a level of anxiety where I would recommend that you admit to the local facility to receive full treatment. I fear some of the behavior you are exhibiting could be a danger to both yourself and your family. I have attached a letter of referral for your records and will follow up with the clinic doctors in due course. Best, Hans Verifield, General Practitioner. Cool. So Emily uh, wasn't doing too good, it seems like. We got a basement key. Is it this? It is this, okay. Well, I don't like that. Flip that light on, no we can't, okay. Hmm. All right, Martha's about to spawn in, dude. February 10th, 1996, Anadir Police Department are refusing to look into the Burkhart family disappearance. I didn't tell my own department back in Windermere that I was coming all the way out here, but speaking with the relatives and their general concern has forced my hand to come out here and see for myself. The lights in this house are strange and dim, something up with the power. I need to find my way into the basement and check the fuse. My radio does not work out here. I have been attacked by an unknown assailant who appears to be a woman, highly aggressive. I have shot her with several rounds, but it doesn't appear to do anything. Hiding in the basement, I have secured myself down here as best as I can, waiting for backup. Tell my wife and family that I love them. Pray for me, Officer Simon Edwards, Windermere Police Department. Shit. You down here? A local cop looks like he has been dead a while. Why has no one come looking for him? That's a, uh... 
That's a great question. Let's pick up this fucking gun, though. I have two bullets. Uh, that's not great. I, I would like some more. Okay, there we go. Reload. Awesome. All right, Martha. Fuck with me now, why don't you? Looks like an electrical keypad might unlock this locker here. Okay, well... Uh... Shit! I did not mean to shoot... Fuck, now I only have four bullets. I was just trying to figure out, like... If I could press that or not. Um, that's not good. Okay, so what do we got here? You need the green fuse. Okay. So that's our next objective, finding the green fuse. This is locked. Okay, uh, we need a blue fuse as well. Huh? Don't fuck with me, Martha. Alright, so we picked up some more bullets. Now, where do I go from here? Oh, yeah, here we go. I, another key. Office key. Okay, there we go. Now, which door is the office? Um, I'm assuming this is the office because... There's bloody footprints leading here, and I don't think there was before. So let's try it. Yep. Okay. Martha? Alright. An old safe. There looks to be some symbols engraved on the door. Uh where because i don't see it we got a lighter okay cool picked up an old lighter press right mouse to use okay so now we can light all the candles and stuff great so we got a note september 2nd 1968 it's coming towards the end of the year, and Martha has not returned to the university. She continues to become increasingly isolated and refuses to leave the house. She says that she must continue to work on her projects. Martha spends most of the day in the attic. She has set up her equipment there and only comes down briefly each day. She is far from the woman I know, and our life is not the same. Electrical experiments drain the power, and both the television and radio keep cutting out. Our electric bills are sky high. Her obsession was driving her to become something else. Something truly sinister. I am at a loss and alone out here, Albert. Poor Albert. Good on him for sticking it out with this crazy lady. So we... Okay, so here's the um, engravings that he was talking about on the door. I didn't see him initially. Um, I'm assuming we'll find these symbols throughout the house. And each one will correspond with a number, maybe. I don't know. Um, either way, though, there's no way I can do this right now. The game is too quiet so far. Um... I know this is going to be edited down, but I've been playing for probably a good 45 minutes, and Martha is not here yet. Alright, I mean, I'm lighting all these. Um, I don't know what it does. Oh, look. Uh, okay, fuck. I'm going to have to take a picture. Okay, so I do need to light the candles. They reveal, like, uh, the sigils with the numbers that correspond. This one doesn't, though. The pumpkin doesn't mean anything, I guess. This probably does, though, right? No? Okay, I figured this would for sure, but I guess not. Um, fuck. Fuck.
Yeah, one thing um, while I'm thinking about it, developer, if you're watching this, is I think you should do an update where you don't have to holster the pistol every single time you light a candle. Um, it's just kind of tedious to have to, like, go back into your inventory every time you light a candle. Unless there's, like, a quick... Like a quick equip that I don't know about. Then in that case, ignore me. Alright, so... Is she gonna be in here? Because there's... There's fucking uh, blood on the door. And bloody footprints like last time. No? Okay, cool. Uh, fuck. Well, I don't know. There's blood over here. I don't remember if there was originally. Oh! Good one. Bro, that's a fucking creepy... That's a good Photoshop job, though. I mean, look at that mouth. That's creepy. I like that. And it did get me. Okay, here's another one that we missed. Okay, here's another one I missed in the bedroom um, upstairs. We got the I, and it's a zero. I don't know how I missed all these. So I need either two or three more. I can't remember which. Oh, this door opens now. This door did not open before. Close it. Alright, um... What? Oh, okay, I can pick up a shovel. Um, it says press F to put away a current weapon or drop object. Okay, um, now I got two different weapons. All right, I got a shovel and the revolver. Um, got some more bullets, that's good. I like this little closet. A lot of good shit in here. Um, and then we got a key here. Uh, okay, we got the back door key. I'm still missing two or three of the combinations that I need. <gasps> there she is. <laughs> Aha, you stupid. Oh, she gets up quick, too. Alright, uh, let's, let's get down here. Uh, fuck, where's the back door at again? Shit. What the fuck just happened? Did you guys hear? It sounded like she, like, dissolved or something. Here we go. Uh, we're outside. Huh. I didn't think we were going to be able to go outside. What'd you say, you little shit? The door is locked. You don't have the required key. Then why the fuck did you let me out here? Okay, um, so real quick, I just want to point out that I would definitely just crawl under this and leave at this point. Um, I guess our protagonist just doesn't like crawling, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so she came out of the room upstairs, so I'm thinking that maybe I can, uh, go up there now. Where? Oh! Oh my god! How'd she get- Ah! Fuck! How'd she- Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, fuck. Uh, God, I'm, like, dead here. Hold on. Okay, all right. Shit. There she is. I don't know if she dis- Like, if she despawns. Fuck. 
Oh my god, lady! Okay, good, she does. Um, I don't have any fucking bullets left. Fuck. Alright, get the fucking shovel out. Jesus Christ! Let me in here. Shut this. Holy shit! This game just fucking amped up to 11. Uh, bullets? Yeah, okay, good. The fuck? Alright, let's read this. Woo! Shit, dude, my heart is like pounding. October 26th, 1968. I find myself unable to comprehend what I must do. What has happened is an act of pure evil. Yesterday, Martha became a murderer. Uh, there is darkness inside her, and I must now live with this unspeakable evil. She has become something else beyond what we would know of this world. She disabled the car of a passing motorist. She pulled him from his car, and I found her feasting upon his corpse. <laughs> She claims that she is now immortal and has power beyond comprehension, and in time I will join her. I never will. I will seek the opportunity to alert the authorities and end the lunacy, a lunacy that infects Anadir in this cursed house. She has gone completely mad. I must have her committed urgently. Man, and he is still just sticking it out, too. What? I need three objects. Okay. Can I light that? The coins required are in three. The first sits beneath a tree. The second resides in a metal box, while the third is present in a prisoner's cot. Okay, so the only one I think we can probably get at the moment is the uh, the one beneath a tree. Maybe that's outside by the camper, because I don't even know where the prisoner's cot is. And the metal box, I'm assuming we would have to have, like, a specific key for of some sort. Okay, so I can use the lighter uh, while I have the shovel out, though. So that's cool. Okay, so it looks like all these doors are open now. Ooh. Oh, a fucking shotgun, dude. Fuck yeah, and we got another one of these. Alright, let me take a picture of this real quick. Jack! Oh god, no, what happened to him? Uh, well, I think he blew his fucking face off, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry, I did the best I could. I held out but didn't leave you much. I blasted that bitch with this shotgun. Seems to knock her flat, but still won't kill her. Yeah, Jack, you didn't really fucking do anything, um, noteworthy pick this fucking baby up yeah we got one bullet i'm gonna hold off on using that for now i'm gonna i'm gonna use the shovel um jack damn is she gonna come in here when i try to leave Cool, we're out on the balcony. Shotgun shells, all right. So my question is, can she come outside, do you think? Uh, let's go ahead and reload our guns just in case we need to pull them out at some point. Alright, good. Now, I don't know if she gets stronger as the game progresses or not. Can't open that. Kind of hard to see out here. Okay, more shotgun shells. Nice. Got a car over here. Um, can I search the trunk or anything? No, doesn't look like it. All right, more shotgun shells. Nice. Can I go in here? Maybe if I can get up the steps. Nope, I cannot. Okay. The door seems to be electronically locked. Okay.
Got some handgun bullets. And we got the RV camper key. Okay, awesome. I wish this was like some sort of a shortcut. Because I haven't saved in a little while and we have a long way back. It says the ground seems recently disturbed, which means that coin thing that we need is buried. But, uh... Yeah, look. There we go. Cool, we got it. Uh, crouch. Alright, we got the rabbit coin. Awesome. So we can also go in here. Is there like a first aid in here? Because I don't know if I have any more of those. All right, awesome, there is. Okay, this goes back out. I need to get downstairs and save. Okay, let's go see what's in here. What do we got? You know what, whoever's giggling, better fucking cool it. Oh, it's another piece to like the uh, locker maybe? Part of a code, yeah. 9-2, so we're missing one other piece. A blue fuse, okay, cool. Uh, June 23rd, 1994, to whoever finds this. We locked ourselves up in the camper van outside. That thing seems to be confused to the property. We slept in the guest house last night, but feel safer out here. Emily is a lost cause. She is now in the power of something else. The guilt that eats away at me, but I had to do it. I boarded her up in that room. None of the cars work. We are heading out on foot and hope it does not follow. If you find this, please help us. Dan. Uh, Dan, I'm assuming you're dead already, right? As, as, uh, didn't we read something about that? Alright, uh, yeah, I guess that was all that's in here. So we can go, uh, put the blue fuse in. I don't know what that does, though. Yeah. Okay, now. Is that it? We can't actually do anything until we get the green fuse? Um, so I cheated. I didn't have the uh, second to last... Um, I didn't have the second to last number sequence. So I just guessed and it just so happened to be one. Which is awesome. So we got the guest house key. Now, I don't know where the guest house is. Is it? It's not outside, is it? Like, out by that locked shed? Because that was... Maybe it is. I don't know where she's at. It's giving me all the uh, sayings again that it did before I quit playing because this is the same night as the first recording um, it's just a few hours later what the hell man oh shit hold on Woo, okay that got a little hairy for a second <laughs> this is the guest house what the hell <sighs> I didn't know there was going to be other enemies in this game. I just heard, like, the the combat music or whatever. Jesus. Shit, another dead person. That must be his truck out front. I'll need to use it to get out of here. I didn't read the rest. Okay. What do we got here? I must kill her. There is simply no other way to stop the true evil she has become. Martha has used her abilities to lure people to the house. Her desire to take control has become impossible to contain. I have tried my best to turn Martha back from a path to evil, but she seems to have no intention to change. She merely keeps me alive to do her bidding. I have become a slave to her insanity. I need to escape. Albert. Did we establish that Albert was dead? I can't exactly remember. Um, is this Albert? No. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn. I do not have a med kit. This is uh not not good because I can't see anything. 
What is that? Is that a battery? Gasoline, maybe? Okay. Is there a med kit in here, please? Okay, green fuse. Fuck. All right, well, that happened. Okay. Uh, what do I have? Oh, it, it, it kept everything for me. Okay, so I got the green fuse again. Okay, well, we placed the green fuse. Now what? What did it do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now this is for the locker, um, 9-2, so it's 9-2 something. Oh, it's a five digit? Oh shit! I'm missing four num- er, uh, three numbers? Damn, where do I even get those from? Better not be teleporting, Martha. You little shit. Yeah, come up here. Go ahead. Ooh! Fucking exploded her. That's what's up. Hey, look at this fucker. So is this unlocked now? Oh, shit, I didn't mean to reload, but I guess it's good that I did. Okay, yeah, this is unlocked. Okay, good. Jesus, what the hell, dude? Okay, good. So there's two doors we can unlock now. Or two different places. There's the one with Emily, and then there is something else I can't quite remember. Okay, we got another piece to the code. Great. These gas canisters are empty. I need to find something to burn them. Those slaves of hers, they must be burnt. Time to test it. Can he come in here? All right, I'm assuming not. All right, there we go. Now, what's in here? Hey, I thought it'd be in here. Okay, good. So, uh, 9236, we need one more. Fuck. Where is she? Where? Oh, she's coming down from the attic. Okay. <laughs> All right, now where is the boarded up door? Here it is. Okay. Now Emily's gonna be in here. And she's gonna try to kill us. All right, we got the whole code. That's good. I'd really like a uh, med kit. All right, uh, journal. Oh, this is Martha's journal. There in my darkest hour on that mountain, he saved me. I have surrendered my soul. I am immortal. Now I am great for he who showed me mercy. I am now something else. I have joined them and he is a part of me. There's like a Baphomet up there. So is she talking about Satan or a Baphomet? Is she in here? 
Zoom! Fuck! Ooh! God damn, dude. That was pretty fucking awesome, I'm not gonna lie. That, that was, that, oh man. That was fucking great, but, um, oh, here we go. Picked up cell key. Why did this shut just now? Cell key. Oh, that's the, that's for the, uh, basement door. Let's hit, let's hit up the locker first. Uh, 94236. Okay. What's that? Old trunk key. Oh, for right upstairs. Now, are you going to wake up? No? Okay, good. Open this. There's a body in here. I'm so nervous that, like, all these bodies are gonna get up. Traitor. It's fucking exploded. Nice. Alright. December 20th, 1968. I have been left here to rot in this cell. The very cell she had me build to trap the unsuspecting victim she lures into the house. Her acts have become of the most unspeakable evil. This is not Martha. This is something else that has grown inside her. More and more, she dabbles in dark practices. What started with experiments on wild animals has become experiments on her victims. She is using her dark science on the dead. I need the plans in my hidden office to bring about her end. If not me, then I write this in the hope that someone else does. Find my clue in the instructions I left behind. Her trap now lures people off the road and breaks their machinery using evil energy. I want no part of this. I must escape and bring about an end to all of this. Man, Albert, can we just give a round of applause to Albert, man? He's just fucking... He's great. I knew he was gonna get up. But you know what? It's fine. Because we'll just shut that heat. fuck right off. I think the, uh, the, like, scary music is coming from just, like, all of the fucking, uh, zombies running around. I don't think it's Martha. Alright, now we got all three coins. Um, fuck. Now, where was that door? Was that upstairs? I want to say it was upstairs. All right, this is, oh shit. Okay, I don't think I actually had a med kit, but it did give me one. Looks like a secret office. Albert must have hidden something in here. A uh, key. To whom it may concern, it is too late for me, but you must deal with Martha. Use the signs. I know this can end her. Beware the, sh the wrong choice. Oh, fuck. Uh... Okay. Not that. This. Yeah. Attic key. So how would we even know what sign it would, or yeah, what sign it would be? Ooh, A little spooky up in here. <gasps> oh shit! Look at her. Fuck, dude! I don't know what to do. She has a fucking axe. Uh, she's like dual wielding.
Fuck me, man. What do I do here? Fuck, man, I can't find the last one. It's not that, is it? There we go. Just getting sucked into hell, dude. Ooh, okay. Great. Now then. She's gone. Uh... All right. Okay, we got the truck key. So are her little fucking goonies gonna be alive still? So is the door back? It is. Okay. Now, where's that truck? Right here, but we're gonna need gas, right? You have escaped. Okay, July 13th, 1996, Barry Sinclair. Dear Barry, the old Albrecht house. I'm just writing you in regards to the old Albrecht's place. Thanks for taking the job. I know it's a little out of your way. I'll have my secretary send you through the directions in the next couple of days. I think I can pick this house up for an absolute steal from the public trustee. Nobody has seen or heard from the Burkharts for a couple of years now, and obviously they can no longer pay the mortgage. If your report comes back, uh, I th how I think it should. Sorry, the, the game kind of glitched, so I have escaped and the note up at the same time. Um, if your report comes back how I think it should, I can get the bank seller to lower the price substantially. I know you are all above board when you do these inspections, but if you happen to find a few defects with the structure, that would be music to my ears. I heard the house might have a few issues with the electrical work as the place seems to chew the juice. Anyway, if you could do me a solid and help me out, that would be great. Looking forward to your report. Regards, Phil Anderson, Anderson, and Sun Estate Agents. Okay, and there we go. You have escaped. Is that us? Oh no, is she gonna come out of the back seat? Oh no! <laughs> nice! Okay guys, so that was Martha, created by Chris Willis. Um, this was actually very, very good. Um, I really fucking enjoyed this game. I like how um, they didn't have Martha come out until a good like 40 minutes into the game. That was really nice because it gave the game time to build up tension, um, let you put together pieces of the story, you know, let you get familiar with the uh, the house and like where everything's at and the rooms and everything. So it was actually nice that Martha didn't come out right away. I feel like it would have been kind of gimmicky if she did just come out like instantly as soon as you entered the house and start beating the shit out of you, you know? Um, so yeah, that... That was really cool how they uh, 
they held off on letting her come out. Um, I liked the twist with the dog and the zombies. I did not expect there to be any other enemies other than Martha in the game. Um, so when the dog came at me, you know, I was a little taken aback by it because I was like, oh shit, I didn't expect that to be out here. As far as the story goes, um, I really like it. I like story-driven horror games. Like, I really like finding notes and putting pieces to the puzzle together one by one, little by little, and just kind of building the story that way. Um, I really enjoy that. Yeah, the story was pretty cool. Um, so she, she ended up, like, essentially giving her soul to Satan or, you know, the Baphomet or whatever. And so she was essentially cursed she was able to lure people to the house um to i assume get their souls for you know satan i also want to point out that i'm pretty sure i read that this is a uh, affordable cat's first game first game ever first of all this game was fucking awesome and for the price and for the fact that it was his first game ever like that's super fucking impressive like honestly it's that's crazy so yeah i really i really enjoyed this and i can't wait to see what else they do they come out with i don't know if it's just him or if it's like a small team or what but i can't wait to see what they come out with next um and as you read in the credits right there you know he's wanting people to let them know if they if they want to see a martha too so if you do want to see a Martha 2, if you enjoyed this playthrough, I would definitely uh, reach out to him on the email and let him know so he can make one because I would like to see a Martha 2. I would like to see how he expands on the story and what he does because our main character, um, our main protagonist just got killed at the end, um, I assume anyways, because Martha was back there. So she's clearly not done for so yeah, I would like to learn how she escaped hell because we totally trapped her and sucked her back down into hell. So I, I would like to see the story expanded on and, um, you know, see where it goes. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the game, if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, if you would like to see a Martha Part 2. And if you're not subscribed, um, subscribe. I really appreciate it if you enjoy my content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay spooky.